now for the next section it says demonstrate the use of dependent jobs so let's take a look at an example of this and we have already seen this example so let's go back to our node.js hello world application go to actions and i'm going to pick one of the workflows that ran and over here we had seen that the test job is dependent on the build job so if i click on the workflow file we had written this condition needs build and it needs this build job so the test job needs the build job so if you specify the needs condition it means that this job will run after the build job so that's how one job is dependent on the other job and we have already seen this example.